What are five Filipino food cheap beats around San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. Kamusta, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are gonna be exploring the best Filipino food cheap eats in San Diego. We're gonna visit two of the top Filipino communities in all of San Diego, Mira Mesa, my hometown, and National City. And we're gonna try out five different Filipino food spots for cheap eats. And we're gonna try out their combo plates and a couple of breakfasts. It's gonna be a fun time. Although my background is Market on 8th, we're gonna do this in another video, so stay tuned for that. But I thought it was a nice place to start off with the backdrop. We just made it here to R&B Cuisine, which is literally half a mile from my house and is the closest Filipino restaurant to my place. And my cousin Tina told me that I need to come in here and try out their seasick because they're really known for their seasick. So in this video, like I said, we're gonna be doing one item combos. You know I love that. That's my favorite Filipino polutan snack with a San Mig light when I'm sitting on the beach in Boracay. So let's go inside, grab that seasick. All right, Jacationer, so we're here at the Mira Mesa Rec Center. We're here at the park where I grew up playing t-ball. Decided to come here outside, it's nice sunny day here, a little bit windy. Inside R&B Cuisine, they have a ton of other Filipino food. You got your Filipino snacks, the boy bawang, and all the chicharron on the sides. You can get your ube crinkle cookies, and they have a ton of other Filipino food. Tita behind the counter was laughing at me a little funny because you guys know that I don't really eat rice as much, and usually with sisig, you wanna have rice with it, but I got the pancit and the sisig, the one item combo. It was $6.99. They put a ton in here. It looks like they have some some sort of red peppers on here, a lot of onions, a load of pancit, and then I got their, uh, I think this is like the suka. It's like a vinegar mix of stuff. So this is really good. This adds to that vinegary taste. And it looks like this sisig is gonna be nice and crunchy and chewy. So take a look at that, guys. Ooh, yeah. I dip a little bit of that sisig. Mmm, that is on point. Wow, you get the crispness of the skin, the chewiness, and the vinegar taste of it. Oh man, it's so good with the onions. Now that's how sisig is done here in Miramata. Mm. So I also got the pancit right here. Usually, like I said, you mix it with rice, but since I'm weird, I like the pancit better. These are the thin pancit noodles. You got some cabbage mixed in it. I usually like eating the thicker pancit noodles, the pancit lomi. This is a nice substitute if you don't want to eat rice. I usually like having the sisig in like a sizzling platter, but when you're getting these one item combos, obviously you're gonna get them in these to-go containers. And that's what all five of these places are gonna give me. My cousin is totally right. This is the best sisig in Mira Mesa. Wow. One more bite of the pancit and let's move on to the next place. How are you doing? This is Coach Jet from House of Boxing over there in Paradise Hills, Rio Drive. You know, keeping it real. Please subscribe to Jaycation TV. This is an episode with Not Nice Best Barbecue. See you guys later. We've gone here in my Manila Mesa video, which I'm gonna link down below. But I'm telling you, the beef barbecue combo over here is on point and I had to include it on this list for best Filipino food cheap eats. We're here at Nanai's Best Barbecue and I got the barbecue plate with the huge rice. There's no way I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna take this home to momcation and dadcation for sure. This is the tastiest Filipino barbecue here in Mira Mesa. Oh, it is, it's, it's so good. Ch take a look at that. Now this is one of my family's favorite spots. Every time you have a party, we'll definitely for sure see the barbecue plate there. Cheers. You got that nice, semi-sweet, mesquite barbecue taste to this. They pack on the beef. Mm. When I get home, I'm gonna put some sriracha on this. Oh, spice it up a bit. Oh yeah. It was $8.25 for the one item combo. And I think it's about a dollar more for the two item combo. It's worth paying the extra dollar 25 for how much they pack into this plate right here. It's really not that much more for a two item combo. So if you wanna have more than just one item, you can put some, I don't know, pinakbet, pancit, or some adobo, 
whatever you want. They also have cans of calamansi juice here. You can quench your calamansi craving over here at Nanai's Best Barbecue. If you're finding value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps get this video distributed out through YouTube. If you're just discovering my channel, please consider subscribing as I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world food and travel content. I also try to focus on Filipino culture and Filipino food every once in a while. So I hope you're enjoying this Filipino food cheap eats video in my hometown of San Diego here in Mira Mesa. And we're moving on to National City in a little bit. The next place here in Mira Mesa for Filipino fast food cheap eats is Manila fast food and desserts. Now this place has been here for years. It's changed names a couple of times. I didn't really eat that much Filipino food growing up. I'll have to be honest with you about that. I always eat Pizza Hut. And that's why you guys see me eating Italian food and American food all the time. Let's see how cheap it is at Manila fast food. Y'all know you're in a Filipino community when you have Filipino news and the Filipino press and the Asian Journal and the San Diego Reader. Now the San Diego Reader is a really cool thing to grab. There's a lot of interesting things and write-ups. I got the one item combo here and it is $6.99 as well. But the difference is it comes with some sinigang soup, which is right here. Sinigang is like a sour Filipino tamarind soup. When my parents make this, I always have it. Mom, Cation, Dad, Cation know how to make this maasim, which is sour. They make this super good. This comes with the one item combo and I went with the lechon. Now you can actually order full lechons here for your parties. They have a small, medium, and large and it costs about 280 to 320 bucks and you have to order it way in advance. They have uh, crispy pata, huge chunks of lechon here. And they give you your, I don't know if this is a uh, house-made lechon sauce or Mang Tomas. They have that and then I also got the rice with it. We're gonna get this nice crispy, lechon right here. We're gonna dip it in the sweet, it's like a sweet Mang Tomas Filipino sauce. Let's try it out. Nice and crispy, look at that. You got the fat in the inside, the sweetness of the sauce. You got rice this time around. I'm loving that. Now let's grab some of this sinigang right here. We got some tomato in the inside. I don't know if this is the fish sinigang or the pork sinigang. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, nice and sour. I love this stuff. Like I said, whenever mom Cation and dad Cation make this, it's so good. J Cation vocabulary. When mom makes the sinigang, I call, I call it gang gang. So my mom, I'm like, hey mom, what's for dinner? And she's like, oh, we're having gang gang tonight. So sinigang is a regular meal in the Manicus household. You gotta try it out, guys. If you haven't tried sinigang before, this is my favorite Filipino soup. Gotta get that mang tomas sauce. Now they have some halo halo here, some leche flan. I saw the dinuguan, which you won't see JK should try. <laughs> some adobo and a bunch of other Filipino desserts. If you want to check out Manila fast food, it's right next to LBC, which is the Balik Bayan Box slash mailing service company that goes to the Philippines. This place totally brings back memories of hanging out with my Lolo and my dad here as a kid. My Lolo loved getting the combo plates over here. He'd probably get the two item combo plate usually. And I just remember my Lolo loving Filipino fruit durian. The one that's got that potent gas smell. Oh, it's so, ugh. That smell was so bad. But I just remembered how much my Lolo loved that durian. <laughs> and he, he made me try it once and I was like, nope, no bueno. Not for me. Before we leave Mira Mesa for National City, I'm here at Jollibee. Now Jollibee is the most famous Filipino fast food spot. They have amazing pancit palabok, chicken joy. They have those ube pies and mango pies and peach pies. Oh, so good. All right, let's move on to National City, Southside San Diego. For those of y'all that don't know, I am full Filipino. I was born and raised here in San Diego, but my parents are from the Philippines. Maruno ako magsalita ng Tagalog, mabaga lang, which means I know how to speak Tagalog. I'm just really slow. I learned it back in college. My whole life, I've always understood it, so nakaka intindi ako, but mabaga lang ang salita ko. <laughs> the way I speak is all jacked up. That was my first time walking through Market on Eighth. I definitely have to do a dedicated video on that. So stay tuned. We'll be back. There's a few Filipino spots and it just looks like a really cool place to hang. Made it over to National City and we're on 8th Street right now. And right behind me is Zarlito's Family Restaurant. It's been here for years and it's the home of Filipino American and Chinese food. And I actually used to broadcast Radio Filipino America Jaycation show right across the street over here. 
and I've actually only been here a couple of times in my lifetime. We're gonna stick with the one combo theme, see what they got in there, and I'm gonna take you to the most requested and one of the most classic Filipino spots in all of San Diego. You'll find out after this one's over with. So let's go inside to Zarlitos and try out some Filipino cheap eats. This is the only sit-down Filipino restaurant where you sit down, take your order. I went with a Filipino breakfast today since I haven't done that yet in this video. This is $9.95. This is the Tosilug. It's uh, sweet Filipino pork. I got the eggs sunny side up with garlic rice. They give you the suka, aka vinegar. This is the only sit-down restaurant that I'm gonna feature here. Uh, most of the places are basically like buffet style. You order it from the from the buffet area and then you take it home. They just have a nice full menu and the prices are cheaper than places like Jerry's Grill. A really classic spot here in National City. You get this dark redness of this sweet Filipino pork and you're gonna wanna dip it into the vinegar. Reminds me of being back in Palawan, having my hotel breakfast and then get the runniness of the egg here. Mm. Now I do like rice when there's a garlic flavor to it. So garlic rice is my jam. Mm. So like I said, anything with the word silog at the end is basically an egg, a uh, rice bowl with an egg on top. I'm not showing you guys fusion Filipino in this video. I'm showing you the classic spots. So after this, we got one more and it's probably the most popular spot. Mm. Two thumbs up. Filipino breakfast. Right across the street, they have other Filipino joints over there as well. Villa Manila, where you have the traditional kamayan. If you want to see me do that eventually, let me know in the comment section below. And they also have another place over there where they have really good seasick right by the RFA studio. There's a lot of great Filipino food here in National City. Comment below if I miss something. I'm always down to learn more about other Filipino spots within National City since I live over in Mira Mesa. So the other Filipino food spot is Fiesta Pinoy. That's where they have really good sisig. And then Villa Manila is right over here. We're at the final place. This is Tita's Kitchenette. It's a very no frills spot where they have the buffet line with all the Filipino food. They got everything. They got your adobo, your barbecue. I went with the menudo. Mom Cation and Dad Cation make the best menudo, but I had to try out their menudo. It's got green peas, carrots, pork, potato, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this is, I actually really love menudo. Check that out, boom. There's a big piece of pork there for you. Mm. It's like the perfect sweet, savory-ish type of dish. And honestly, I'll be honest with you, I eat rice with menudo. There's no way you can't have rice without menudo, so. Mm. Wow, and they give you loads. And they list the prices with tax. So this was $8.97, and it comes with the gang gang, with the sinigang. So I got the pork sinigang. Let's see how the sour taste is. All right, sourness is okay, but I mean, it's included, so heck yeah. It comes with it, so $8.97 total. That's way worth it. Mm. What I love most about menudo is the potatoes. Mm. That potato is where it's at. I was gonna get Halo Halo here, but I'll probably save that for later on. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus segment with a bonus guest stars. But Tita's Kitchenette, classic spot here in National City off of Plaza Boulevard. You have to try it out. Highly recommend it. $8.97 for this whole thing. Two thumbs up. Vacationer surprise, we weren't even planning on having Jess Cation. Surprise! Welcome back. So what are we having tonight? Um, tonight we're having Indonesian and Filipino fusion food. <laughs> I know, I said I wasn't going to make this like a fusion thing, but this is a bonus segment. So like, we still do have Filipino stuff. Adobo fried chicken. Alright, Jess Cationers. Alright, Jess Cationers. Um, we're going to try out the uh, adobo fried chicken. Since this is a Filipino food video and we're gonna end with the Filipino food plate. Cheers! Mm. Crispy, right? Crispy, peanut buttery, sweet and savory. Mmm. That's actually really good. And it like it's like melt in your mouth type chicken. That's light. 
especially for fried chicken. I put some of that hot sauce on there. The person working there, she was like, never heard anybody order fries with this. So I'm starting a trend. A double fried chicken with fries, garlic fries. Earmuff gang. Earmuff gang? Mm -hmm. Gang gang. Bang <laughs> bang. <laughs> All right, Jaycationers and Jesscationers. Um, so that was just a little preview of Market on 8th. We're gonna come back next week. Yeah, we'll come back next week with a full review on all the delicious foods that are here at the public market here on 8th and National City. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. We'll show you more of the spots, the, the pizza, um, the Filipino food, oh, yeah. and the fresh yard. I got a pretty sick hat. I might wear it next week. So. Ooh, and cerveza too. Ooh, cerveza, <laughs> yeah. You'll see more of Jesscation next week. Yay, Jesscation, Jaycation. Deuces. Bye. That will do it for the best Filipino food cheap eats in San Diego. We tried out three places in Mira Mesa and two here in the National City area. They're all great choices. Tita's is the classic one. Now if there's any places that you like to go to that I didn't cover or even mention, please comment down below. I'd like to know. There's so many Filipino spots here in National City, Paradise Hills, Chula Vista that I can't even keep track anymore. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps distribute this video throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing as I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world food and travel content as well as Filipino culture and food videos. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to support Jaycation more in 2022, I have a Patreon, PayPal, and a Teespring where I have a ton of Jaycation gear. And if you want to check out It's Always Sunny in San Diego, we have a community of San Diego lovers, 4,000 deep, talking about recommendations, travel tips, and news around town. All right, Jaycationers, we'll see you guys in the next one. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling, San Diego. <laughs> If you want to see a fully in-depth video of this, I've done two over here. I'll link that down below as well as my Manila Mesa video where I talk more about the places inside Seafood City and a few other Filipino spots. 